In the last decade or so, there have been many animated movies that have helped change how we look at such films. You can look at cultural appreciation pieces like Raya and The Last Dragon, surprise hits like the Wreck-It Ralph movies, and of course, the phenomenon known as Frozen. This movie went from another Disney princess film to the Disney movie for many kids, and the unfortunate parents that had to go and listen to Let It Go an infinite amount of times. The Frozen 2 movie took its time to get here, but it delivered in many ways. So the question is, should a third movie come? What will it be like? Allow us to show you Frozen 3, eight things to expect in it. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Will Frozen 3 ever happen? There was a six years gap between Frozen 1 and Frozen 2. So if Frozen 3 happens, viewers might have to wait until 2025. Disney hasn't confirmed a third movie yet. The director and writer Jennifer Lee told Digital Spy that the story of Frozen 2 has come to an end. <sighs> However, she felt the same way when the first installment of Frozen was completed. Perhaps it seems that Jennifer Lee is still not sure whether Frozen 3 will be made. For us, this feels like what we set out to accomplish. It feels like the end, but the first one felt like the end when we did it. We don't know. I think right now, it feels like the end. But there is some hope, as she said on a separate occasion to Yahoo Movies UK, we always say, never say never. I think what made this one special is that we both confessed that we didn't want to leave this world. We naively just went into this because we love the characters and we could see more story. In fact, the reason that Frozen 2 took so long to make was literally because they wanted to make sure they captured the magic of the first film and didn't make a gratuitous sequel, which has happened many times in the past with Disney. So, with Frozen 3, they might honestly wait for things to build up in terms of a good story so that they can keep telling the stories of these sisters and their friends. But then again, they might not think of another story, so thus it's fair to keep both sides in your mind. How Frozen 2 can lead to Frozen 3 Frozen was inspired by Hans Christian Andersen's 1844 fairy tale, The Snow Queen. However, it was reworked before presenting it as a movie. Chris Buck and Jennifer Lee directed both the sequels. Frozen 2 gives a successful conclusion, but it left some cliffhangers for Frozen 3. There is a lot more to say in Frozen 3 as fans believe the third sequel must complete the unfinished ending of Frozen 2. Frozen 3 can show the royal wedding of Elsa's sister Anna and Kristoff, for example. And we know how Disney loves their happy couples. In Frozen 2, we saw Elsa residing in the north and Anna ruling Arendelle. Elsa became the protector of the Enchanted Forest, where she finds a connection between her ancestry with the tribe of North Holdra. Frozen 3 might show Elsa's supernatural power to resolve the identity of a mysterious voice, which is still unknown. Honey Marin, a member of North Holdra, is likely to return, which will please the many shippers of her and Elsa. Honey Marin is a member of North Haldra, Ryder's sister who wants to bring peace to the Enchanted Forest. So, given all the older characters and the new characters, there is a lot to work with, even if the creators don't see it at the moment. The New Lives of the Sisters The end of the last film had Elsa find a brand new home, far from Arendelle. This meant that Anna was now the new queen, and Elsa would live off with the people of the Magical Woods. We kind of want to know what happened next. This new group of people hasn't been explored too much, and it would be interesting to see more of them. We also want to know how Elsa is adapting to her new home. There's definitely spin-off potential here that the film could have been setting up. 
This would also give a very special twist to the third film in that it could focus on the branching stories of the two sisters and then weave in a third story that could reunite them in a major way. Disney has been trying to grow their storytelling prowess as of late, and this would be a good way of doing that. Potential Time Jump Many fans are intrigued to know what Anna and Elsa are up to in 15 to 20 years' time. A major time jump like this would be completely unique for a Disney film, but we feel like Frozen is the franchise to do it with because there's a real purpose to it. Unlike other happily ever after stories, the ending is pretty predictable. With Elsa and Anna, anything can happen in a world of magic, especially if either of them have kids. We'd love to see what could happen years down the line, which could be explored in a third film. If Elsa was to have kids, sorry, honey marin shippers, would her kids get magic? Or what if Anna and Kristoff's do for some odd reason? We could also get a reunion story of sorts where they reconnect after a long time, and the moment they do, something goes wrong. You know, like a Disney story. There's a lot of potential there. Doing it for the popularity. The popularity of the franchise is undeniable. There's just too many fans, both young and old, to deny them another film in this series. Other huge franchises managed to create multiple films across a number of years. Since this series is so popular, it seems sensible to create one final one to complete the trilogy and really send fans home happy. There's an audience there for it, and perhaps the audience itself can guide where the project would move to next. Disney has been a fan of trilogies, especially with their Disney Channel properties, and so doing one for the Frozen franchise could work well. Into the unknown. But be careful. Of course, the catch with that is that we get the Olaf special and the frozen fever thing in between, and that turned off fans more than brought them in. So we'll have to see how it goes. Mother's Return It's never been confirmed that the mother of Elsa and Anna is actually dead. In fact, it's one of the unresolved mysteries of the second film. Her return could absolutely warrant another sequel. Although we believe that their dad is definitely dead, there's no telling what bringing their mother back into the fold could do. Perhaps she's not the woman they remember, or maybe she has changed significantly since she's been away for so long. Or you might go with the theory that their parents were the parents of Tarzan, based on pictures and other evidence connecting the universes, and thus they were killed by a jaguar. Just saying. A true threat. We've seen various villains surface over these two films, but they've never really been the driving force of the story. In fact, there was barely an enemy to speak of in Frozen 2. A third film in the franchise could change all that, though. No. I won't let anything happen to her. It's almost like the last two films have been preparing the team for something even bigger. Perhaps a more dangerous user of the mysterious powers. This new threat could turn their world upside down, especially if it's someone like an unknown sibling. And no, we don't mean Tarzan. Happily ever after. As the team noted, they felt that the first movie had enough of a story to end things on. But then they thought about the second movie and felt that way again. But as these stories usually note, happily ever after is more of a mindset than an actual ending. So. What if Frozen 3 decides to really break the mold and twist what that means for both the sisters? Perhaps Elsa still feels unfulfilled in her new life after living there for a while. And Anna, married and perhaps now a mother, doesn't want to rule anymore. With these two very different sisters, their happily ever after might mean different things. And the third movie could send everything off in style by teaching what that can truly mean. So, what do you think? What do you think of this look at Frozen 3 and what you should expect from it? Do you think that this film will honestly come? Do you think that Disney will be able to top what it did before with the previous two movies? Or do you think that Disney should just let it go and continue on with other properties that it has? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel.